Hello and welcome. Today we'll be discussing installing multiple agents on a Windows system in Control M. So the question is, can multiple agents be installed in a Windows system? The answer is yes, but you have to meet specific criteria in order to do so. All agents must be at the same base release version, either version 8, version 9, or above. All agents must communicate to different Control M servers, or if the agents are communicating to the same Control M server, they must have proper port configuration. Additionally, a DNS alias must be created for the second or third or fourth or however many other agents that we have installed. So what we are looking at here is a Windows server that has both Control M server and Control M agent installed on it. We're looking at the add and remove programs of Windows, and we can see that we have the agent FixPack 3 installed on this system. Additionally, looking at the uh, CTM AG CFG command, we can verify the ports that we currently have configured for this agent, uh, specifically the server to agent and agent to server port numbers. We'll want to make note of these going forward. So when we launch our install of the agent, uh, we are presented with the license agreement and uh, we will go ahead and accept this and move on to the next step page. Now by default, the installer is going to recognize that we already have an agent installed on this system and it's going to prompt us to give our new agent a new instance name. We're going to use the default in this case and hit next. This next page of the installation is where we define our host and port numbers. Now you can see it automatically filled in the port numbers for us, both server to agent here and the agent's server above. And it has incremented our server to agent port number by one from what it was set previously in our existing agent. So if we look at our CTM AG CFG really quick, you can see that our server to agent port number and our existing agent is 7006 and we are using 7007 with this new agent. The next thing that we need on this screen is to define our primary control M server host. So we're gonna use our control M server and just type this in here and then test our connection to make sure that everything connects okay. And we were successful. So we'll hit okay on this box. and then we'll hit next. This page gives us a summary of the settings that we're gonna be defining by default for the new agent we're installing. And now we'll begin our install. So our installation was successful. We're gonna go ahead and close our installer now. And then we're just gonna verify really quick and make sure that Windows sees our new agent was installed. So going back to the add and remove programs and we'll refresh our list and we can see that our new agent with the new instance was installed uh, successfully. Now that our agent's been installed, we'll go ahead and get it added to control M. So we're looking at our uh, configuration manager here with our control M server that we associated the agent with. We're gonna do a new control M agent and we're given the agent parameter screen. You can see we have our control M server at the top and now it's asking for the agent host name. This is where uh, we need to have the DNS alias for the agent put in. If we put in the actual host name we installed the agent on and the port that we installed it to, you can see it's gonna test and then fail. That's because there's already an agent associated with that host name. So we need that DNS alias to redirect it. I've just used a host file on my system, so I'm going to go ahead and clear that out and put in the agent name that I specified in the host file, keeping port 7007. Now when we test, and it has come back and said that the agent's available. So we'll close this and say okay.
and it's going to add the agent to our system and we were added successfully. And now that agent is available for us to submit jobs to, both running on the same hardware. Finally, we'll come back to our system that we installed the agent on and looked at our CTMAG CFG. When we run this command, we can see there's two agents now. We'll go ahead and we'll select the second one and we can see that it pulls up the agent information for the new one that we installed with the new servid agent port number. That does it for installing multiple agents on a Windows system. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact Control M Support and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you and have a good day.